There are literally like a million articles talking about the best pork roll and this, that, and the other thing. But that's not going to stop us from talking about pork roll. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a talk about New Jersey pork roll, or better yet, pork roll in New Jersey. We have a couple New Jersey little uh, locals, and we have some actual um, others that are based in Pennsylvania. But anyway, the whole point is that everybody has an opinion about their favorite food, favorite anything. Uh, we're going to talk about just five different kinds of pork rolls and these stupid crickets. I have crickets in here. I hate crickets. Anyway, everybody likes pork roll. You got, well, the people that like pork roll all have an opinion. You know, you got some people that love one brand, some people like the thin. Jesus Christ, I hate crickets. Um, they like the thin kind, some people like tangy, some people like thick cut. And, you know, I don't know. I'm going to talk about five different pork rolls today. Um, the, the, see, the thing is, the damn cricket is distracting more. I don't care about the noise, but it's just distracting. Anyway, I used to eat, I, I used to never eat pork roll. I mean, about the only times I ever had pork roll was down at the Jersey Shore when I had a shore house and, and I would get it on a, on a sandwich. This was back in the day when I ate bread. And that was not a good thing. I would eat it and it would be like slathered with ketchup. You'd have salt and pepper and cheese, American cheese usually, eggs on this stupid Kaiser roll. And you're just eating just like sustenance, meat, a salty little pork meat. Um, but since I've been low carb, I, I, I got into eating more bacon, more meat. I eat mostly red meat, but for bait, you know, for breakfast, you still really want to have uh, a nice salty pork um, portion. Uh, so here's the deal. I, I tested out the following uh, pork rolls over the past, you know, several months, and I've, I've accumulated my opinions. Number one, I, I started out with the ShopRite brand, believe it or not. And then I tried Case, which is a New Jersey, Trenton area um, pork uh, provisions company. And then Taylor, I tried last. Uh, Taylor Ham, I never bought Taylor pork roll. It's, that's what everybody calls Taylor Ham, is Taylor pork roll. And now Taylor Ham is referred to as any pork roll. Um, I tried that last because it was the most expensive at places like ShopRite and I didn't feel like paying, you know, around twice as much for the same amount of food as the other brands. But I discovered two others that uh, were fairly interesting, were Thick Cut um, Alderfer or Alderfer. I don't know how to say it. I don't really care. I'm going to say it my way. And then there's Hatfield, which is also a relatively local company that makes bacon and ham and, and all sorts of other things. So I'm just going to quickly tell you that um, <clears throat> I like all pork roll. Um, my quick test here, you know, let's just, I'll just stay safe for the record. I think Hatfield was the least interesting tasting. It was a thick cut uh, pork roll that really had no taste in my opinion, but I think I can uh, modify that the next time I buy it, and I'm going to buy it again, is to cook it longer, hotter, and possibly add additional salt, maybe even cook, uh, do a semi-deep fry, cook it in bacon fat or something like that, and make it crispy. Like, I, I don't know. I, I have such limited experience with pork roll. I don't eat it every week. I haven't been eating it all my life. I just, you know, everybody likes what they like. Um, the Al Aldefer or Alderfer brand out of PA, they're like a hundred year pig farmer. I liked that uh, pork roll a lot. It, was, it had a really, really, really good flavor. It was very, so it was more salty tasting, but less sugar than Hatfield. Hatfield had like, like tw two or three times the amount of sugar at least listed on the label. And that combined with no taste makes it like, like borderline almost never again. But I'm gonna try it one more time with new cooking techniques. That's the Hatfield one. Um, the Alderfer or the Al, Al, Alderfer, I don't even know how to say it. I'll say it again, I don't know how to say it. 
Um, I, I like that, but they don't make a thin sliced version. Sometimes you might want the thin uh, pork roll. Um, the reason thin is probably preferred because it gets a slightly crispier, almost bacon-esque type crunch to it if you cook it in that way. You're never going to get a bacon-esque crunch from a thick cut unless you overcook it. And then there's ShopRite and Case, which I've concluded based on my taste experience and the fact that they, those are the only ones that offer tangy and mild. Uh, Case brand offers ta tangy and mild and so does ShopRite. I don't know if any of the other brands offer tangy or mild, so that's why I believe that Case makes the ShopRite brand. And they're under $2 per six ounce pack. And you can both get the thick and thin cut um, and I guess it's all personal preference. The one thing about Taylor ham or Taylor pork roll is that their little, the circumference of their ham discs or pork roll discs is smaller. So you get eight thin slices instead of six slightly larger uh, thin slices. So you're getting more, uh, I guess, items, but that doesn't really translate into more chews because you still got to chew, swallow, and so on. So we don't really have a favorite. I mean, if I had to pick a, a favorite, I mean, I really do like the Taylor, the Taylor ham. Um, they're, they're nice and crispy. It came out, it was really, really good. But if I had to pick one, I guess it would be a tie between, a three-way tie between the Case and ShopRite, Tangy, um, flavors. I just, I happen to like it. It has this weird addictive tang to it. Maybe they add a, an addictive ingredient to it. And I like the Alderfer or Alderfer uh, because of the overall flavor. So that's it. I mean, it's, uh, pork roll is, is a personal preference and that's the bottom line. Have a good week ahead.